Hi. So, beautiful, sunny, very cold morning. Perfect to talk to you about the Outdoor Research Cold Weather Arctic Glove System. Uh, and this is the, the new system that has just been taken on by the US Army uh, as their cold weather system. Now, they do work in a slightly different way, but as with anything outdoor research, this is an awesome piece of equipment and fantastic for the, the proper cold. I mean, this is ridiculously warm glove system. So you see there's two component parts here and I'll break them down as going along. And then I'll start with this one in, in the middle because this is a, an insulated glove that is, can be a standalone glove in its, its own right. And this is a convoy sensor. And the sensor is an important part and that goes through the range. I'll tell you about that in a second. So here you have a, 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 a fabric glove uh, with a leather knuckle protector, a leather palm, uh, and these black areas here are the center part of it. They are basically a touch sensitive uh, uh, entity. So you can use them with, 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 with all your devices, your screens. So when you've got your, your, your panel on your chest, you flip it down, you can then use it on that, that to actually control it without having to take your glove off. You know, so super useful in whatever role that you're using it. So if I slip it off the mannequin here, what you've got is a, um, a really, really nice, ever so slightly pre-fitted uh, pre glove, so you've not got the tension on your fingers there. You've got an extra piece of leather here just to protect the web and of the wear and tear. It's, it's quite a short glove, this one, so it only comes down here, so it's, it's a, an easy on, easy off, um, with a Velcro tightener on the back. You can see this piece here, and this is to connect it to its, uh, its brother or sister, depending on how you, how you how you think about it and just keep them together from there. Also really good for hanging over a, a line in a tent. Uh, really, really good sort of pull uh, tab here so you can get down into it. Um, and you can see that as on there, it, it's, got a, it's got a gore liner. So this is a waterproof insulated glove and it's perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect for the conditions I'm in. Uh, and for 90% of your cold weather glove needs, this does everything you need to do. And particularly if you're in a very, very cold environment, you're working at high tempo and you need something that's a little bit a little bit more insulative, then great, great for skiing along, great for using weapons, uh, great for trying to maintain that dexterity and everything like that. So this is part of the system. I'll show how it fits into the system in a second. So if we put that one down for a, for a minute, um, and we bring across uh, the, mitch, mitch, the, the large mitt you're seeing here. Now this is a, a gore shell uh, mitt with a large uh, felt backer, which is great for uh, wiping your face uh, in the middle of the cold. Now you can see there's quite a, quite a significant leather palm here. Uh, and this is a, a, thick, a thick leather, really, really heavily protective. Uh, you've also got a, an adjuster around your wrist. And then on the, on the bottom, okay, you've got the connector again, sorry. You've got a, a one hand pull uh, elastic, elasticated draw cord. And then you've got a large um, sort of lanyard, which allows you to put it round, round your wrist so you don't, don't lose it if you shake them off. So, if we look at this, we, there's that one, there's the top layer. Next down, um, and this, this can be used separately as well, is, a, is, is a, another gore mitt, but this is a lobster mitt, so it leaves your trigger finger free. Um, on the inside of the palm, you see there's no, no leather uh, on the inside of the palm there, but you've got a really, really, really cool sort of sticky pad here, uh, which is very, very grippy, very, very grippy. Great for holding onto uh, all kinds of different things. And then, you know, you've got the leather uh, leather parts on, on your, your forefinger and your thumb. So the hardware areas where you're pinching and everything like that. Around the wrist is a is a is a elastication to bring it in, draw it in nice and tight. Uh, again, an attachment, a elasticated draw cord, one hand pull, and again, a, and a lanyard. And then under this, and then the foundation of all of this, it's a little bit odd now. It's been uh, crushed in a uh, in a in amongst those. Is a Nomex contact glove. Now this is much longer than the contact gloves that, that you'll have seen used by uh, particularly UK military in the past, which normally end at the wrist. And this incorporates a much longer uh, longer element here coming down the arm and covering the wrist. And you know, just thinking about the um, <coughs> the physiology of the of the wrist here, we know that the the, obviously the, the blood vessels are running close to the surface on this part. So this is an area where if you cover it well, will really improve the, 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 the warmth in your hand and help protect your, your hand against frost nip and frost bite. And I think this, that's a key, key thing to consider with all of this, this system. It is 
excellent at protecting you within a very cold environment against frost nip and frostbite. I mean, that, that glove system there has been uh, measured going way below minus 50, um, way beyond the limits that are actually required from him. And that, you know, is, is something to bear in mind. It's not something to be wearing, skiing and running around in because your hands will get warm. So if I start with this glove here and I'll show you how you build, build it up and show some of the options and you can see how it fits. Um, so here's the Nomex glove and it's, it's a real good balance of, of, of palm shape and length in the fingers and you can see I've got two leather parts on one of my index finger and one of my thumb and these are there to, again, to prevent high wear uh, on, on, this, on this glove. So this is something uh, that you're wearing all the time. It's there to stop you sticking to metal, um, as amusing as that can be on occasions. It's really not desirable. Um, and then also because it's Nomex, you know, you think about how we work, gen generally work from a military environment within the Arctic, then we're doing all our administration in tents. We're cooking, we're, we're working with fuel, we, we do all that kind of stuff. So there is flame and fire as part of that environment. And, and that glove uh, gives us a good layer of protection against that, which is, which is something we've never had before. So really, really cool. And, and you'd think Nomex is quite heavy and, and not really that nice to wear, but this is a lovely handle to it. And it's, it's a really comfortable liner glove, uh, contact glove to wear. So this is common to all. Now, if you are skiing and it's, it's, you're skiing along, you could be skiing in this, but equally, it gets a bit colder. <coughs> pop the convoy sensor on, and that provides you with an extra layer of insulation, as we discussed before. Still ski, not a problem. Still use your, 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 your weapon systems, not a problem using your, your trigger finger. Um, and then it gives you a, an adaptable, very, very nice and warm, very protective, protective layer, but not too much. It's not gonna, gonna, gonna make you sweat too, too heavily in that environment. <coughs> now you could go from here straight to the big mitt if, you, if you, suddenly the temperature drops. Um, but let's say we're, we're, we're going along, let's just pull this off. Um, and then, um, and actually the, it's a little bit cooler still. So then you're looking at the lobster mitt and uh, this was brought along because in certain areas of the States you get very, very dry cold. It's a continental system uh, and it can get very, very cold indeed. So you still need that extra level of protection and, and bringing your fingers together, it's like being in a, in a bed when you're snuggled up, you're, you're much warmer than when you're apart. Um, and, and that's exactly what we're doing with your fingers here. You're sharing heat amongst them. And that, and that means that you get kind of a, the best of both worlds. Uh, you get the ability to have that mitt warmth on these, this part of your hand, which helps keep the whole hand warmer, but without losing the functionality. And as you can see, it's got quite a, a quite a, quite an, uh, significant curve on the on the index finger, so it would naturally fit within a within a within a trigger system. Should you need to do it, the other thing that's really good as well is that on the palm, there's not there's not huge amounts of resistance to to, to a grip. So so it's it's a really really cool piece. Um, there's a lot of insulation in it actually in this one. Uh, so again, you need to be careful to wear the right piece at the right time. Don't be wearing this when it's not that cold because you'll sweat and, and that, that is not what you want to do with that environment. Again, you can see it's a, it's a, um, a gauntlet system. So from my point of view, using this glove, where's the best time, or this mitt, sorry, where's the best time to be using it? I'd be using this in a static situation or I'm on top of a vehicle, you know, where I'm exposed to uh, colder uh, winds or whatever, or wind chill, um, or I'm not generating the same heat inside myself, but I need that, that ability to, to, to use my trigger finger. If we, um, now let's say we're in a situation the temperature really, really drops down. You're stood there on sentry duty in the middle of the night. It is truly, truly Baltic. Then the ability to then put an extra mitt on, extra layer of protection, uh, and it means that you can stand there really, really comfortably um, and, and have no problems at all. This is also really super useful from the point of view of, of engineers um, dealing with uh, anything from, from fight lines to uh, gun bunnies, you know, sat around waiting for a fire mission, uh, anything where you are sat waiting. Equally, you know, if you're on a, a, a Skidoo, an OSRV, 
it allows you to do stuff, but you've got a lot of protection there um, and, and really, really huge amounts of protection. You can, if need be, obviously mix and match. So there's no reason why I can't have a slightly lower protection, but I want the full mitt rather than the, the trigger finger rather lobster, then I can actually just wear this over the top of my base layer, base layer glove. Equally, if I'm um, skiing along and I'm using, I'm cracking on with, with my convoy sense glove over my base layer glove and then I come to a halt and, I, and the temperature drops for whatever reason, then I can always just dig those out, throw them over and they give me an extra layer of, extra layer of protection. So a really, really versatile uh, glove system. Um, as I said, it's, it's thermal protection is off the charts. So the risk is that you wear, you wear too, much protect, too, too much protection, too much insulation in, in, in more mild weather. Uh, and that will cause you problems. So you have to understand yourself, understand what bracket this, this system is for. And it is for the very cold. Um, and if you used correctly, it's a great, great system. As with everything with outdoor research, I mean, the build quality is, is outstanding. I mean, it really is a, a, a wonderful uh, quality there. So you can rely on this, this to, to work with you. Um, but hopefully you get a chance to use these and use this system a little bit in, in, in the snow and in the cold, and then you'll get to appreciate how to best to use it and uh, its, its value.